Apple is a company that really needs no introduction. They've changed the way we communicate, listen to music, and even pay for goods and services. Apple recently introduced us to their new high yield savings account that can earn 4.15% APY. So the question is, should we make the switch to this new savings account? And what's the catch? But first we need to understand how Apple got here. Back in 2019, Apple teamed up with Goldman Sachs and gave us the Apple credit card. It was a way for Apple to expand its services beyond hardware and software by offering customers a seamless and integrated financial experience. It could not only integrate with Apple Pay mobile payment system, but also offer innovative features such as cashback rewards, daily cash, and a transparent and easy to understand fee structure. Overall, it offers its customers an all-in-one financial solution. So it's no surprise that Apple is trying to get its customers more. This Apple savings account with a 4.15% interest rate is quite impressive. When evaluating a bank, make sure to check the following. Are they FDIC insured? Do they have great customer service? How much money will you actually make? And do they have an overall great reputation? So let's see how the Apple savings account measures up in these categories. The first category is FDIC insurance. Apple has partnered with Goldman Sachs on this savings account and Goldman Sachs is FDIC insured. So in case of a bank failure, which we've been seeing more of lately, you're covered up to $250,000. Interestingly, the maximum that Apple and Goldman Sachs are going to allow you to keep in this account is also $250,000, which means Apple and Goldman Sachs don't want you to exceed that $250,000 that are backed by the FDIC. This is interesting because there have been bank failures recently, but this is important for you to know because even if this were to fail, you are guaranteed up to that $250,000. So really you're not taking any risk. The next category that we're going to look at is customer service. The account is online only, but there is a 24 seven hotline available. The service quality remains to be seen since this account is still so new. However, Apple is known for its excellent customer service, so we can hope for the best in this category. And having been an Apple credit card owner for a few years, I can attest to they do have wonderful customer service. So I can't imagine that this is going to be an area of concern. The next category is money making. Apple's interest rate is 4.15% APY and is among the highest in the industry, but this is a variable rate and it remains to be seen if it will continue to stay this high. As for fees, Apple claims there are none, no minimum deposits, no minimum balance, and no overdraft fees. The fourth category that we need to look into is reputation. Apple's reputation is stellar, so that's a plus. The company has a track record of delivering high quality services and products, so this could bode well for the savings account. Now let's discuss some specific issues with this account. The first issue is that you have to have an Apple credit card in order to get this savings account. The good news is the Apple card offers cash back, no annual fee, and daily cash rewards. The card provides 3% cash back on a select list of companies, 2% cash back when you use Apple Pay, a 1% cash back when you use the physical card or on anything else. But there is one long-term concern. The Apple card and the high yield savings account may not be sustainable for Apple and Goldman Sachs, which could lead to future cuts in the interest rate and benefits for the card. For example, the initial deal between Apple and Goldman Sachs was actually renegotiated for the Apple card due to its low profitability. But despite these concerns, there are some notable advantages to using Apple's savings account. Apple Card users can direct their daily cashback rewards to automatically go into their Apple savings account, maximizing the value of this feature. Additionally, you can add money to this account through other means, such as transferring money from another bank. In conclusion, if you're already a part of the Apple ecosystem and are looking for a new banking option, then this savings account could be worth considering. The high interest rate, the lack of fees, and the convenience of connecting to your Apple card make this a very attractive option. Just make sure to keep an eye out for any changes that could impact the sustainability of this account. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button so I can make more videos like this. And I wish you nothing but the best in your journey towards financial success.